Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will solve the third problem from exercise 2.1. Let us read out the problem. In a magic square, the sum of the numbers in each row, in each column and along the diagonal is the same. Is this a magic square? Okay. Now see, these numbers which are in line, this is the first row, this is the second row, this is the third row. And if you consider vertically, this is the first column second column third column and diagonally we will have these three numbers which are along the diagonal and these three fractions along the diagonal so we have to find the sum of these numbers in the row column and along the diagonal and check whether we get the same answer and if we get the same answer then we can say that it is a magic square so the first example is solved and it is given there so the first row, now this is the first row. So the three fractions along the row, we have 4 upon 11, 9 upon 11 and 2 upon 11. So when we add all these three fractions, you check here the denominator is same. So it can be written once, add the numerator, 4 plus 9 plus 2, we have the answer as 15. Okay. So similarly, let us now check along the other rows. So let me consider the second row now here. Along the second row, you check the first fraction here is 3 upon 11 plus 5 upon 11, then plus 7 upon 11. So we see again the denominator is common, so you will write once. So add 3 plus 5, 8, 8 plus 7, 15. So even in the second row, we have got the same answer, that is 15 upon 11. Let us now check in the third row. third row the first fraction here is 8 upon 11 plus 1 upon 11 plus 6 upon 11 so you see again the denominator is common so you will write once so 8 plus 1 9 9 plus 6 15 so along the rows all three fractions after adding we have got the same answer that is 15 upon 11 so this is your first row second row and third row okay these are your rows now next, we will add along the columns in each column and check. So this is your first column, second column and third column. So let us solve here. First column, we have 4 upon 11 plus 3 upon 11 plus 8 upon 11. You see here, denominator is common, so we will write once. So 4 plus 3, 7 plus 8, 15. So now let us solve for the second column. You have 9 upon 11 here, plus 5 upon 11, plus 1 upon 11. Common denominator, write it once. 9 plus 5, 14 plus 1, 15. So see here also we have got the same answer. Let us now check the third column. We have 2 upon 11 plus 7 upon 11 plus 6 upon 11. Denominator is common so we will write it once. 2 plus 7, 9, 9 plus 6, 15. So if you see here in a row and in a column when we have added all three fractions we have got the same answer that is 15 upon 11 now let us check along the diagonals now diagonals you will have these three numbers okay from the left diagonal if you consider these three numbers so let us check first diagonal or you can even say the left diagonal so we have 4 upon 11 plus 5 upon 11 plus 6 upon 11 okay so these three numbers we are adding denominator is common so we will write it once 4 plus 5 9 plus 6 15 yes even in the left diagonal along the diagonal we have got the same answer let us now check the uh, other diagonal from the right hand side these three numbers so we will say second diagonal 
so 8 upon 11 plus 5 upon 11 plus 2 upon 11. So again we will have here 15 upon 11 that is common denominator then 8 plus 5 13 plus 2 15. So we see here when we take the sum of numbers in each row in each column and along the diagonals we get the same answer that is 15 upon 11. Therefore we can say that this square what is given to us is a magic square. This is so interesting isn't it? Whether you add the fractions in a row, in a column or along the diagonals we have got the same answer that is 15 upon 11. Therefore it is a magic square.